Okay, it is. It's the black and white day. Okay, the redevelopment agency meeting of October 24th. First, 2015 is called to order. This meeting is properly noticed and posted in compliance with the open meeting law. These proceedings are being video record, excuse me, are being recorded as well as presented live on KCLV cable channel two or closed captioned for hearing impaired viewers. Please note some of, some of the customers Cox Communication who do not have a cable box, they may view this meeting on digital channel 89.5. The redevelopment agency meeting, as well as all other KCLV program, may be viewed on the city's website at www.kclv.tv. The proceedings will be rebroadcast on KCLV Channel 2 and the web the Wednesday of the meeting at 8 p.m., also on Friday at 4 a.m., Saturday at 7 p.m., Sunday at 7 a.m., and the following Monday at 1 p.m. This building is protected by state-of-the-art fire detection and suppression sprinkler system. If alarm should activate during today's meeting, please evacuate using the exit the back of the chambers out to the mezzanine. Proceed out the double doors to the terrace and down the back staircase. For anyone who has difficulty with stairs, please check with a marshal or fire official for assistance. Once outside, assemble on the northeast corner across the street from City Hall at Lewis and First Streets. Employees wearing safety vests or city marshals will inform you when it's safe to re-enter the building. For public comment related items on the agenda, citizen participation and public hearing items, we have available a speaker card which you may complete and submit to the city clerk. Cards are available online in the clerk's office at the rear of chambers. If you do not submit a card, it does not prevent you from speaking under public comment, citizen participation, or specified public hearing items. If anyone's present today who has need for hearing impaired equipment, please come forward and see the city clerk staff. If you parked in the parking garage across the street, please be sure to have your ticket validated by security officers when exiting. We will move on to agenda item three. Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters on the agenda for action. The amount of time any single speaker is allowed may be limited. All comments made will be cross-referenced to those specific items. If anyone submitted a speaker card who wishes to speak under this portion of the agenda, please come forward to the podium, state your name for the record. We do not need your address. We will set the time at one minute. Oh my goodness, we're on film. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. Mayor, uh, I wanted to try to get three minutes. Your name, if you would, please. I'm sorry, E.T. Snell. Hi there. Edwin Thomas Snell. Good morning. Um, I want to uh, talk about a couple of different things on redevelopment and that I think that are important with redevelopment. And so it's kind of, we had to kind of put our thinking caps on. Today, coming from Newberry Springs, uh, I noticed once again we had four rest stops between Barstow and Vegas. Um, Three of them were closed. Now, I don't mind it so much when the weather's not so bad, but when it's 120, the trip to Vegas should not be a death trip, ladies and gentlemen. And, and you know, I realize that it's out of your purview, it's out of your jurisdiction, but it's not out of your grasp to, uh, to get involved and to try to change that. And I think that's, that's what I'm trying to get you on the, the path to do. The other issue I want to talk about is Taking a look at the laws for teenage sexual exploitation, which are the Okay, total that will not be part of the redevelopment. So I'd stay on your focus redevelopment now. You're welcome to come back at the next, at the regular city council meeting to talk about anything else. Okay, well thank you then. But I, I wanna say, uh, you know, we've opened up the, uh, we've opened up the uh, uh, Express West. I believe it's Manel. Uh, has put up a bunch of money, and we've got the, the Chinese people, that, the rail coming in, which I think is a fantastic move in trying to stop the burden from coming up from L.A. to Las Vegas. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Uh, okay. We will. Um, all right. Good morning. Good morning down there to the left. Good morning. Okay. I'm going to close this. We'll move on to agenda item four. Um, for Bob. I think it's time. Looks good, looks good. It's a new style. 
Okay, agenda item four for possible action to approve the final minutes by reference of the regular redevelopment agency meeting of September 16th, 2015. Mayor Pro Tem, is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve, Mayor. Thank you. This motion, please vote. And please post. <laughs> Thank you. We'll move on to agenda item five. Discussion for possible action regarding an amendment to the disp to disposition and development agreement DDA between the City of Las Vegas Redevelopment Agency RDA and the LV Land Company LLC LVL for two parcels of land totaling approximately 0.72 acres at 500 South Las Vegas Boulevard and 408 East Clark Avenue. Redevelopment Area Ward 3, Councilman Coffin. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Mayor, members of Council and Redevelopment Agency Board. For the record, Bill Arndt, Director, Economic and Urban Development. This item before you is an amendment to an existing agreement to enable our development partner to move forward with construction of the Nevada Supreme Court building in downtown Las Vegas. Our existing agreement is in place and most of the terms remain the same. However, we need to make a few changes given on how the project is moving forward. Originally, the developer contemplated moving forward in a single phase of construction for an office complex in downtown. And now that the Nevada Supreme Court opportunity has arisen, the developer wishes to proceed with two construction phases. And so we're going to be making the following changes to the agreement. The purchase price still remains the same, so there's no change there. But the original contract called for a single phase of construction of 63,000 square feet of office buildings. And now the developer is wishing to move forward with two buildings. The Nevada Supreme Court building will be 26,600 square feet, minimum thereof and therefore there will be a second building to be developed at a later date of 36,400 square feet or larger. In addition, this second office building will not be built on the same physical piece of land as the court building. The Supreme Court building will be built on the southeastern corner of 4th and Clark Avenue. Currently there is situated a surface parking lot that serves the Fifth Street School. So the court building will be built on, there, on that piece of land and then uh, adjacent to that site, but on the other side of an alleyway at the intersection of Las Vegas Boulevard and Clark will be the office building pad for the second construction phase. Uh, the developer is required, was required originally to build uh, all construction starting by September of 2016. Now that we're bifurcating construction, uh, the developers could be moving forward as follows. Uh, starting construction on the first building no later than December of this year, and we anticipate oh, it's going to be much sooner than that. Excellent. And Mr. Frank Pankratz is here to talk about that. And then the second phase, rather than September of 2016, to accommodate the phasing of construction and what's needed to uh, handle that, the second building will start no later than September of 2017. In the event, if for some reason the construction on the second building does not start by that date, the Las Vegas Redevelopment Agency has the ability to have that parcel, that piece of land for the second building, the piece of land that's on Las Vegas Boulevard and Clark, that reverts back to the Redevelopment Agency. Uh, but it's our expectation that the developer is making great progress on the court building and his construction is imminent and we're, uh, we have great uh, expectations that the developer is going to be able to move forward on that second phase, and it will be a very prominent location for a wonderful Class A office building in downtown Las Vegas. Uh, with that, I'd be glad to answer any questions, and again, Mr. Frank Pankratz is here uh, representing the developer. If I might just ask one question before we turn it over to Mr. Pankratz. Good morning. Good morning. Um, the infrastructure that will go on those two pieces to, is there anything that the city is obligated to do which will save the city money to do both pieces at the same time? Uh, we're not really incurring any additional costs as far as the phasing of the pieces. Uh, in fact, really uh, the developer has stepped up and is incurring all the costs of all the utility work, the off-site development. Uh, there, are, wow. there is a gas line running through the alley 
Uh, initially, the thought was maybe the city might have to move that to accommodate the development, uh, but the developer has come up with a good uh, physical plan to work around that, and their developer is responsible for all the, not only all the on-site improvements, but all the off-site improvements uh, to the half street as well. So uh, we're not incurring any costs. We're earning revenue uh, with the sale of the land, and uh, we're excited to move the project forward. Wonderful. Good morning, if you'll reintroduce yourself. Please. Good morning, Frank Pankratz uh, with uh, the uh, applicant. We, uh, uh, mayor and, and council persons in the RDA, everybody has been working extremely hard over the last uh, many weeks uh, on this transaction, so we appreciate uh, your consideration. Uh, development uh, is imminent. Uh, we have our uh, ceremonial groundbreaking uh, next Tuesday morning at uh, 11 a.m. We're excited about it. If you haven't received your invitation yet, it is, it's in route. And uh, construction uh, in earnest uh, is anticipated sometime in the next, uh, within the next uh, two to three weeks. We have uh, uh, worked through uh, this with the RDA. We appreciate it. Uh, it is a phased project, and uh, we're looking forward to get going with the construction and then uh, the pre-leasing on the uh, adjacent office building. We'll be coming forward uh, to you again, I think it's early December, for the alleyway vacation. Uh, we required the adjacent property owner on the alleyway to uh, provide an affidavit of their support, therefore, and we received it uh, uh, late last week and submitted that to the planning department, and then we will, uh, as a result of that, we'll be able to get onto your agenda, or I think either the planning commission or the city council, to have that alleyway vacation uh, uh, affected uh, in the next uh, six to eight weeks. Wonderful. We're excited. What is the timeline that's projected for the completion? once you break ground on the Supreme Court building. We have a commitment uh, for move-in of the Supreme Court justices and the appellate court judges in December of uh, next year. Wow. It's a very uh, quick, uh, tight uh, construction schedule of about 14 months or less. So you're working 24-7? Not quite, but close. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. We're excited about it. Any comments, questions, Councilman Mayor Pro Tem? Thank you, Mayor. And Mr. Pankrest, we are very fortunate to have you and your partners in this community. This is a very exciting project uh, for the community, for downtown, for Councilman Coffin. Uh, you could have thought about putting the Supreme Court building out in Centennial. I'm just throwing that at you as an option. Um, but I don't think we, we could have a better community partner in regards to uh, economic development and redevelopment uh, for the city of Las Vegas. So it's a pleasure to see you and looking forward to a, a wonderful work of art and a groundbreaking, uh, I think, tomorrow. Thank you. Tuesday. 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 Anyone else? Councilman Coffin. Thank you, Mayor. The uh, significance is also that and it's frequently overlooked by people in southern Nevada that the uh, vast majority of construction uh, which benefits state agencies is in the north. It's, it's generally in Carson City or Reno, not in southern Nevada, and specifically not in Las Vegas. It's been a long time since a building has been constructed for the use of the state, exclusively for the state. It's true that the court is a separate branch of the state government and, uh, and it's a responsive branch of the government. And the fact that they chose downtown Las Vegas and not perhaps uh, an upscale area in this city indicates they really do understand that the people need to have the ability to be represented because this is an appellate court as well as the mid-level um, appellate court that we, we have there too. These things are really important for Southern Nevada. So I, I thank you very much for uh, being the contractor willing to take the risk. And if I don't know, I don't know if I don't see any justices, but I, I do know that that they have been uh, very, very good to us to make this choice. So thank you very much, Mayor. I move for approval of item five. Great day for us all. Thank you. Um, there's a motion to approve on agenda item five. Please vote and please vote. Motion carries. Thank you very much. We look forward to it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Agenda item six, citizen participation, public comment. 
uh, public comment during the portion of the agenda must be limited to matters within the jurisdiction of the redevelopment agency. No subject may be acted upon by the redevelopment agency unless that subject is on the agenda and scheduled for action. If you wish to be heard, please come to the podium, give your name for the record. The amount of discussion any single subject as well as the amount of time any single speaker is allowed will be limited. <coughs> is there anyone wishing to speak under this portion of the agenda? Hearing and seeing none, move on to agenda item seven, agency member recognition. Comments made by individual agency members during this portion of the agenda will not be acted upon by the agency unless that subject is on the agenda and scheduled for action. Is there anyone who wishes of the redevelopment agency who wishes to uh, speak under this portion of the agenda? Are there any other comments? I guess not. This redevelopment agency is adjourned and we'll start our city council meeting at promptly at nine o'clock. Thank you very much.